I was 18 years old when I got married. I belonged to a very conservative family, a Baloch family, where good daughters never say no to their parents. My father wanted me to get married. And all I said was, if that makes you happy, I'll say yes. And of course, it was never a happy marriage. Just about after two years of getting married, about nine years ago, I met a car accident. Somehow my husband fell asleep and the car fell in the ditch. He managed to jump out, saved himself. I'm happy for him. But I stayed inside the car and I sustained a lot of injuries. The list is a bit long. Don't get scared. I'm perfectly fine now. Radius ulna of my right arm were fractured. The wrist was fractured. Shoulder bone and collarbone were fractured. My whole rib cage got fractured. And because of the rib cage injury, lungs and liver were badly injured. I couldn't breathe. I lost urine and bowel control. That's why I have to wear the bag wherever I go. But that injury that changed me and my life completely as a person and my perception towards living my life was the spine injury. Three vertebrae of my backbone were completely crushed and I got paralyzed for the rest of my life. So this accident took place in a far-flung area in the outskirts of a very small province of Balochistan where there was no first aid, no hospital, no ambulance. I was in the middle of nowhere in that awful car. Many people came to rescue, they gave me CPR, they dragged me out of the car and while they were dragging me out, I got the complete transition of my spinal cord. I finally ended up in a hospital where I stayed for two and a half months. I underwent multiple surgeries. Doctors have put a lot of titanium in my arm, there's a lot of titanium at my back to fix my back. That's why people in Pakistan call me the Iron Lady of Pakistan. Those two and a half months in the hospital were dreadful. I will not make up stories just to inspire you. I was at the verge of despair. One day doctor came to me. And he said, well, I heard that you wanted to be an artist, but you ended up being a housewife. I have a bad news for you. You won't be able to paint again because your wrist and your arm are so deformed, you won't be able to hold a pen again. And I said, why? Next day, doctor came to me and said, your spine injury is so bad, you won't be able to walk again. I took a deep breath. doctor came to me and said because of your spine injury and the fixation that you have in your back you won't be able to give birth to a child again that day I was devastated I still remember I asked my mother why me and that is where I started to question my existence why am I even alive what's the point of living I cannot walk, I cannot paint, fine, I cannot be a mother. And we have this thing in our heads being women that we are incomplete without having children. I am going to be an incomplete woman for the rest of my life, what's the point? So, my mother said to me, this too shall pass. God has a greater plan for you. I don't know what it is, but he surely has. What kept me going was, one day I asked my brothers, I know I have a deformed hand, but I'm tired of looking at these white walls in the hospital and wearing these white scrubs. I'm getting tired of this. I want to add more colors to my life. I want to do something. Bring me some colors. Bring me some small canvas. I want to paint. So the very first painting I made was on my deathbed, where I painted for the very first time. 
lot of infections in my body, a lot of allergies. So doctors wanted me to lie down on the bed straight for not six months, for not one year, for two years. I was bedridden, confined in that one room, looking outside the window, listening to the birds chirping, and thinking maybe there will be a time when we'll be going out with the family and enjoying the nature. That was the time where I realized how lucky people are, but they don't realize. And you know how it all began? That day I decided that I'm going to fight my fears. We all have fears. Fear of unknown, fear of known, fear of losing people, fear of losing health, money. We want to excel in career, we want to become famous, we want to get money. We are scared all the time. So I wrote down one by one all those fears and I decided that I'm going to overcome these fears one at a time. Do you know what was my biggest fear? Divorce. But the day I decided that this is nothing but my fear, I liberated myself by setting him free. And I made myself emotionally so strong that the day I got the news that he's getting married, I sent him a text that I'm so happy for you and I wish you all the best. And he knows that I pray for him today. My biggest fear was I won't be able to be a mother again. And that was quite devastating for me. But then I realized there are so many children in the world and all they want is acceptance. So there is no point of crying just to go and adopt one. And that's what I did. So when you accept yourself the way you are, the world recognizes you.